Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please bear witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button as always, or actually hold on a second, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel man, I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will, I don't have any paid memberships on the channel, so every little thing I do create, I post it completely free on my channel, including the codes and the videos, how to implement those codes. So, not just any random videos by the way, it's actually questions and requests from people that have issues with their Shopify store. So it's a win-win situation, but it's your decision, I'll let you decide, now I respect your decision, just a like button if this video helped you out, even if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to provide you with the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. Here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to change the quantity selector color on your Shopify product page, and we will do that again by using our own custom code as always. This is no app channel, we don't use apps for most of the customization, we use our own custom code because that's much faster and much better for our Shopify store. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code or every video I do create, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most used one, also it's the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify teams, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams. So I'd make sure that even if you're not using down, using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And I just have to say this in the beginning because you're going to see me doing it on down team. You might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to change the color for the quantity selector. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing that you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials, literally everything. So if you saw anything here that you liked and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos. Because I don't remove the changes from here, I keep them so people can see them. But in this case, let me access this product and this is what we're about to change, the quantity selector color. And yeah, check out how many buttons in here, all of this and actually videos in my channel. Uh, checking effect on the buttons as well as this widget that shows random people are viewing this product right now and the number keeps changing randomly based on the input you put in. I did that without using any apps, by using our own custom code. So man, make sure to, make sure to check out the channel, man. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'll let you decide. So what I'm about to do right now is change the color for this. Obviously, we're gonna keep the, uh, the page open, sorry, and we will do the trick come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find a specific file, but instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something, use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to mention this for the million times. It's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css. One of them, some custom made teams gonna be custom that CSS, but that's rarely happens, mostly base or team or style. Mine I know it's base, I'm gonna type in base, here it is, base.css, after that click on base.css, bunch of CSS code will show up, scroll all the way down, let me drag this because it's huge file, here we go. Now we are at the bottom of the file, and in here we need to create some space to paste in our code. And to create that space, click front of the last thing, which is in my case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard, here we go, we have a completely new space to paste in our code and where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this very short code as you can see. And this code will show the, it will change the color, sorry, for the uh, quantity selector. So I think you already know this is a hex code color. So let me select it. If I Google this one, it will show me a color picker with the color on it, as you can see. So you can play around with this widget to get the color you want, then copy the hex code for it from here, as you can see, 
and replace it in here. In my case, I'm gonna keep it as that, which is blue, I think, or green, yeah, it's green. So copy the code, get back in here, and paste it at the bottom of the file, as I said. Then click on save button, we will wait for a couple of seconds. Come on, come on, people are waiting. Okay, save it now, we will get back in here, and reload the page and see what that will do. Here we go, it changed the color for the quantity selector. And you might be wondering why it didn't change in the middle, because that this is a transparent widget. This is not like with the background, this is based on the background of the Shopify store, which is the page. And that's how you change the color for the quantity selector on your Shopify store by using our own custom code. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.